we start off with a design sprint. What are you doing? You said sprint. Hello, it's Jotun Gomez and on a hot and humid day here in Singapore, I'm thankful to be in an air-conditioned office here in the CBD to learn more about the maritime industry. But today, I won't be alone because right next to me, I have... Hello, I'm Nazira. I'm Lead Design Engineer at Instant Green Tech. So Nazira, what kind of waves have you been making in the maritime industry? We are building a digital electric vehicle services mm -hmm. to help users look for charging stations, battery swapping stations. The second one is we are actually building services for the maritime uh, industry to help them make their logistics services a bit more efficient. So for all these services you're building, what exactly goes on in there? I'll show you more. This okay. So what people don't know about the maritime logistics industry is that they are still placing orders through faxes and phone calls. They also rely on paper, proof of deliveries. So you said faxes. A fax machine is something I've not seen since the late 90s, people. So what we are doing is we are trying to digitalize the order placement by automated order tracking as well as making the deliveries more aggregated. So what we have here is the ship suppliers will be able to place the orders through a digital application which will be sent to the transport partners where they will capture all the delivery milestones behind the scenes. At the end of the delivery, once they are done, they will upload a photo proof of delivery that the ship suppliers can actually uh, track immediately. We basically just help the ship suppliers supply ship spares, ship parts mm -hmm. to the vessels on board. So when you're sourcing for ideas, do you actually go on board the vessel to speak to the captain and crew? Not necessarily. Uh, we start off with a design sprint. What are you doing? You said sprint. Okay. We're going to tackle proof of deliveries. We have Maimin to join us from our design team. And we have Mo joining us remotely from Indonesia, Philippines, as well as from Malaysia. Wait, so they can hear us? Yep, they can hear us. Hello, guys. The problem with paper proof of deliveries is that it takes time to transport back to shore. When they can't get the proof of delivery on time, it will cause delays in billing and payment disputes. That does not sound good. Yep, in this design sprint, we're going to help ship suppliers validate their proof of deliveries in a more efficient manner. and try to cut out as much as possible. If it's really bad, it stops. After some voting, we decided that digital validation is the way to go. So, we are gonna move on to prototyping. There's definitely a lot going on here. So whoever said the maritime industry was a sunset one, definitely wrong. But anyway... What are you doing? Crossing the finish line. It feels like you're balancing three roles in one, where you're a software engineer, UX designer, and a ship captain. Were you actually working on board a ship before switching to your office role? No, nope, never on board a ship before. I was doing digital product design in logistics tech. So what made you switch to the maritime industry? I think that there are a lot of opportunities for design thinking to contribute. For example, 80% of the shipments are actually done by sea. Imagine hard copy uh, proof of deliveries are actually transported by trucks and boats. Um, they are burning a lot of energy mm. that takes about a half a day to a week. We are only doing it like, in digital or within a minute. So it's about making our industry smarter and more eco-friendly. And there you have it. Nazira has shown us how a little design thinking can go a long way in making the maritime industry efficient and eco-friendly. Remember, it's a sea of opportunity out there. You can join me for more Make a Splash episodes as I try out being a hydrographic surveyor and a vessel traffic officer on www.seethedifference.gov.sg. My name is Joaquin Gomez and I'm waving goodbye.